We are presenting here is the first uh, presentation of a very large double-blind randomized trial uh, comparing the use of zoledronic acid, which is kind of the standard of care for the treatment of myeloma-related bone disease, to denosumab, which is a monoclonal antibody directed against uh, rank ligand. Um, it is the first time we are presenting this data set. It is one of the largest multi-center international trial of close to a little over 1,700 patients actually. So one of the largest uh, uh, international trials that we are presenting in myeloma. And the other nice thing about this trial is most of the, all of these patients, in fact, the eligibility was that these are newly diagnosed patients comparing standard of care of zoledronic acid with uh, denosumab as bone targeted treatment for myeloma. So like I said, this was a double-blind randomized trial. We have over 1,700 patients in this trial. Uh, it was a one-to-one -one randomization with half the patients getting zoledronic acid plus placebo versus the other half getting denosumab, which was the experimental arm plus placebo. It was blinded to the investigator. It was blinded um, to the study sites as well as patients. And our primary endpoint here was looking at uh, uh, time to first SRE. We did have uh, secondary endpoints and the secondary endpoints was time to second SREs and time uh, overall survival. We did have an exploratory endpoint and that was essentially looking at progression-free survival in these patients. The way we randomized these 1,700 patients were we did a little bit of risk stratification so that we looked to see uh, whether patients were getting novel drugs versus non-novel. And the way we defined novel drugs was IMIDs and PIs, proteasome inhibitors versus others. We also controlled for whether they were supposed to get a transplant versus not a transplant. And then we risk stratified based on the international staging system for myeloma. So what we found here was, like I said, 1,700 patients randomized in a one-to-one -one, uh, way. We found that SREs uh, in both arms, uh, there was no difference in SRE rate in uh, uh, both uh, denosumab versus zoledronic acid. Our secondary endpoint, so we found equivalence in the study with respect to SREs. We um, did not find any superiority, but what was very striking in the study was we found a huge progression-free survival benefit in the experimental arm. So patients getting denosumab had a close to 10-month improvement in progression-free survival in our patients who were being treated with these bone-targeted agents. This is something which is akin to what has been presented by the MRC9 trial. And I think the big difference here is this very striking difference in PFS. We don't yet see an overall survival benefit. And I think part of the reason we don't see that is the follow-up is short. Um, it's a newly diagnosed study with a median follow-up of about 17 months now, and we're going to need to wait a little bit longer. The fact that we see such a dramatic PFS benefit can only mean two things. One is that you actually have denosumab having a very significant antimyeloma activity. And what, unlike the MRC9 trial, is this is being compared to another very potent antiresorptive. So zoledronic acid, unlike the MRC trial, which compared it to cladronate, does is a very potent antiresorptive, despite which we, we are seeing a very marked difference in progression-free survival. Uh, so that has been striking and actually quite surprising to all of us.